because a lot of these viruses do have overlapping symptoms, so it can be really difficult to know exactly what you have and whether you should be concerned. COVID-19 cases are once again on the rise in Southern Nevada and temperatures are dropping. That means the flu, <coughs> common cold and allergies are all on their way. Part of it is, is that the presentations of coronavirus are um, very variable. Some people are very sick, some people have very mild symptoms, so it's hard to tell the difference. What also makes it hard to tell the difference is the symptoms of COVID-19 and the flu are virtually the same. People with either virus can have a fever, the chills, muscle aches, a cough, be nauseous or vomiting. What typically separates COVID-19 from the flu are the less common symptoms of abdominal pain and shortness of breath. And while someone with seasonal allergies or the common cold typically have less severe symptoms, all four have a cough in common. What I've started doing when people come in with these symptoms is testing for both, is testing for influenza and the coronavirus. Dominic DiPrinzio is an ER doctor at Southern Hills Hospital. He says people should not hesitate going to the hospital when they have certain symptoms. If you're having fevers, cough, you're very short of breath, um, please don't be afraid to come, come get checked out. Um, it's not it's okay to come get checked out if you need to these overlapping symptoms can be both confusing and stress inducing but sari dennis who's a board certified health and wellness counselor says there are easy things you can add to your diet right now to boost your immune system and help protect against everything dark leafy greens which are loaded with vitamin c and vitamin e and they're packed with antioxidants to help fight off infection uh, beans are a great source of zinc, and zinc is a really important mineral that boosts our white blood cells. And garlic gets antiviral, antibacterial, and antimicrobial. Now, the good news here is that all of the best practices that we've been hearing about for protecting against COVID-19, social distancing, wearing your mask when you're in public, and of course, washing your hands as often as possible, well, those all help protect against other viruses as well. Reporting live at Southern Hills Hospital, Jackie Kostek, 13 Action News.